Hello again, in this video I will be explaining to you the idea behind the 0R classifier. Let's remind ourselves where we are first. We mentioned before that 0R is based on frequency table, likewise is the 1R, the naive base and the decision tree classifiers. Now the 0R classifier, if you just look at the name 0R, so zero rules. Zero R stands for zero rules. What that means is that um, it this classifier relies on the target and ignores all predictors. If you remember from the last videos we saw the weather data set the weather data set and we mentioned that we had four predictors or four features. The zero R only focuses on the class and it does not actually care about the predictors or the features. What it does is it simply predicts the majority class or the majority uh, category. Although there's no predictability power in 0R, it's useful for determining a baseline performance or baseline uh, classification. That baseline classifier can be used as a benchmark for other classification methods. So by a baseline here we mean this is the least accurate classifier that we can have. If we develop a model and its accuracy is worse than this, then the model is useless. Now the way it works, it constructs a frequency table for the target and select its most frequent value. What that means is we ignore the other features, we only look at the class, we build a frequency table from the class and for any new input we always predict predicted to be uh, as the majority of the classes from the class column. I'm going to show you an example and things will make uh, sense. Um, now if we look at the weather data, we've seen this before, we said we have four predictors or four features and the fifth column here is our class, either to play or not to play, yes or no. Now the zero hour, what it does is, as we mentioned before, it ignores all of these predictors or features and it only builds a, a frequency table from the target. Hopefully you are familiar with what a frequency table is. It's just a count basically. So here for example we only count how many yeses and how many noes we have. If we have more than two classes then uh, we just count them uh, uh, as well. So we only have nine yeses and two noes here. So I'm sorry nine yeses and five noes. We have 14 instances or 14 observations as you can see the number of instances. And now for any future input, it will always be guessed to be of type yes or of class yes. What that means is if we have any input now, for example, a new input of uh, outlook, uh, rainy, temperature, hot, uh, humidity, normal, windy, true, and we want to guess whether to play or not, yes or no, then the zero hour will always guess that to be a yes because that's the majority class. Now from this frequency table, from this data we can easily build a confusion matrix to evaluate the performance. Again, if you're not familiar with what a uh, confusion matrix is, then please go back and watch my uh, model evaluation tutorial. There I explain in detail and give examples on how to construct it and how to interpret it and how to extract useful metrics from it. Now, uh, for our classifier now, because we predict everything to be a yes, now we have the actual classes, yes or no, the counts of these classes and the actual counts of the predicted classes and we have nine yeses because we have 14 points now and they will all be classified as a yes then we have nine as our true positive actually yes predicted to be yes and five as uh, um, false positives actually no but predicted to be a yes. Now we can uh, uh, use the equations we explained in our um, uh, uh, model evaluation tutorial to extract these metrics positive predictive value, negative predictive value, sensitivity, specificity and the accuracy and you notice now the accuracy now is 0.64 just to repeat we can build a confusion matrix and get some metrics and 0R is only useful for determining a baseline performance for other classification methods. Going back to the data set, you can see here our variables now are all categorical. 
this is why it's quite easy even the class of categorical is very easy to build um, a, a frequency table here we don't use predictors but if your classifier used the, used the predictors and your data and the classifier is based on frequency tables and your data is numerical then it's quite easy to transform it into categorical again it's quite easy to transform numerical data into categorical and the other way around if you're not familiar with this then please watch my data exploration and analysis tutorial I'm going to stop here zero R, zero R classifier nice and simple thanks for watching and I'll see you next time